Hello, 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 my sassy soul sisters and friends. Welcome back. Sassy here. And we have another unboxing for you today. And today we have Sugar Muses, Midnight Muses. This is her lowest tier. So this is the $37 box. Um, and then later on, hopefully this week, we should be receiving the Sugar Muses Deluxe box and then the Sugar Muses Midnight Muses Lux box. I think that's all I had to do. I don't think that's taped on there. All right, let's get right into it and see what this month's theme brings to us. We have ooh, the golden hour and celebrating Aletha. Associated with the summer solstice and midsummer, this celebration falls on June 20th in the Northern Hemisphere. Most ancient cultures celebrated the summer solstice in some way. Letha has its roots in ancient agricultural societies that heavily relied on the sun for their livelihoods. The festival marks the peak of the sun's power and the longest day of the year. Letha is part of the Wheel of the Year, a cycle of seasonal celebrations observed by modern pagan and Wiccan communities. It represents <clears throat> the changing seasons and the eternal cycle of life, death, and rebirth. Letha stands opposite to Yule, the winter solstice, symbolizing the balance between light and darkness. Many midsummer celebrations include offerings and acknowledgments of the Fey, Oak, Holly King rituals, bonfires, prayers, and offerings to solar deities, solar wheels, discs, etc. Some also like to do divinational for the year ahead on this auspicious state. The golden hour is a period of time when the light of the sun shines on everything, revealing what was in the shadows and casting its casting its diffused warm energy into everything it touches. The golden hour is also sometimes called the magic hour in photography terms. For witches, it is the state of being where everything is revealed and clearly seen, where we are energized and confident in making our decisions and able to move forward, forward towards manifesting with fluidity, fluid, <laughs> fluidity, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, and powder. Powder? I think I was supposed to say power. Correlations, deities, Aphrodite, Gaia, Flora, Sol, Sana, Astarte, Venus, Helios, Apollo, and Ra. Element, fire, celestial body, sun. Zodiac sign is cancer. That's both my babies. Um, traditions, lighting bonfires, burning old amulets, and creating new ones. Harvesting herbs and divination. Um, colors, white, red, orange, yellow, gold, and green, gemstones, citrine, carnelian, yellow, aventurine, tiger's eye, yellow, and orange stones, animals, bees, butterflies, swallow, goldfinch, botanicals, cinnamon, mugwort, rue, yarrow, I just bought some yarrow, verbena, marigold, chamomile, and daisy, and I actually just planted marigold, chamomile, and some other stuff I can't remember. All right, and then we're going to leave the rest. It's going to be our items in the box. We'll leave that over there. And we're going to get to her beautiful artwork. And we see this beautiful sun. And there's like a little muskrat or something over there in the shadows. Nature's first green is gold. Her hardest hue to hold. Her early leaves of flower, but only so an hour. Oh, by R. Frost, Midnight Muses. Oh, there's a snake, a turtle, some butterflies. I like how the things are like hidden in the shadows. Oh, this felt like there was two. Nope, just one. Okay. And then we have this piece of paper. Empower your gemstones and what you will need. A tin candle, element of fire, salt, element of earth, incense, and element of air, a bowl of water, element of water, gemstone set. Fire, air, water, earth. The elements can be called upon to empower magical tools. Perform the spell to charge these divination stones by calling on the elements. And then it gives you what to do. That's cool. She gave us a little spell to do. 
Let me put that like that. Ooh, and then we have our, I feel like that was just like a big spoiler. Oh well, we have our Oracle or Tarot, Tarot card, the moon. Oh, the scorpion. This one looks like a wolf. This one kind of looks like a dog. The two towers. Is that number 18? The sun and the moon's in it. These cards, it's so funny because it looks like they're old, but you know what I mean? Like um, worn out, but they're not. I kind of like that. With the triple moon and then it has the... Um, Celtic knot in there. That's really cool. So we received that and then I put this all the way over there because it was like spoilers right there. But for this little box, I can't believe that that is in here. Oh, I thought it was a deck. Never mind. I thought it was a deck. Anywho, Golden Hour Soy Candle. I love her candles. Oh, it smells refreshing. It kind of smells sunny, like a sunflower, like, um, you know what, we're gonna read about it. Let me read what kind of candle this is. Candle, travel tin soy candle. This hand poured candle is naturally organic and vegan, contains soy wax with an eco-friendly wick. Infused with lemon, neroli, green tea, and guyac wood essential oils. That's why it smells fresh. It's the lemon. It smells so good. Um, place on your altar. It can be used to invoke the element of fire and represent the power of the sun. And use caution when burning candles. We know those. So we have that. It smells really nice. I'm sorry guys, I'm using, <laughs> all my all my lights are like breaking on me, so I have to invest in a new, in a new ring light. Cause the one that I like to use on my table, it's all dilapidated. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, but anywho, it's still working, so we, we, we make it work. Next up we have one of my favorite parts from her. Oh, and I just saw, i sorry, I got so excited. I love her oils. I always brag to you guys about how freaking amazing these smell. I use them as perfumes. I use them under my perfumes, like undertones. I can't really smell this one, hold on. Oh wait, I already have one of hers on already. Ooh, is that lemon? And this must have lemon in it too. It smells very zesty. Um, yeah, it definitely has lemon in it. Um, golden hour perfume oil. What I got excited about is because I just saw on her website, she now offers a perfume box and I don't know if it's three of them or four. I want to say there was four perfume rollers. Um, maybe $35 if I had to guess, but go check out her website. That's so cool that she um, does this now. Because I kept saying, I'm surprised she doesn't make her own perfumes. because Well, she does. But I mean, like, to sell more. Because I I just love them. I have them in my car, in my purses, throughout my house. Like, literally everywhere you go, you will find an oil. <laughs> like, they're so good. Um, let's see. Golden Hour Perfume Oil. Anoint your pulse points, create to honor the sun's energy. This oil is hand blended with a bright herbal infusion of lemongrass, mint, and vetiver, essential oils. So that's what's on there. Smells almost like the candle, except this is, um, this is a softer scent. And this is actually, it's like a very, I don't wanna say potent, cause I feel like potent makes people scared of something, but it's a strong scent. It smells really good. It's a very clean smell, if you like like that clean smell. Oh, this is so cute. We received this cute little bottle of ritual salts. That's different, we usually get packets. But this is adorable. I actually enjoy these little bottles. Okay, oh, it's a twisty, okay. 
all I can smell is the oil, but it's very pretty. It smells good too. I think there might be some corn flour in there. Let's read about it. Let's read about our ritual salts. This blend of sea salt, Epsom salt, contains dried hibiscus to aid with divination and for balance, bay leaf for protection and strength, and cinnamon for success. I wasn't even close. <laughs> Um, salts offer protective properties and can clear the energy around your altar. Place salts in a dish to absorb negative energy or sprinkle around your sacred space. Save some salts to use with the included gem spell. So they gave us the gem spell and they want us to use some of that. All right. I'm going to move that out of the way real quick. We'll do that last. Ooh, I mean... Price of this box is so good. We have some Yerba Mate or Yerba Mate. I want to call it Mate. I don't know why, but we have some organic herb contains caffeine. Oh, so this is our tea. Yerba. Yerba. I'm so sad. <laughs> I've been like milking this one tea from uh, Spiral Rain. It was the strength one. It was so good. Oh, this has a this has a different smell. It almost reminds me of like hay for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It just it has like a very earthy smell to it. I guess that's what yerba smells like. I will try it though. Her teas haven't disappointed yet. So, And we have a little muslin tea bag to go with our tea. Oh, yes. I don't know why. But I get so excited and they're Palo Santo. These little mini incense. I've been trying to make my own. I gotta I gotta figure out how to make them stick to the thing. But anyhow, Palo Santo. Look at her cute little stickers, they all match. And I already know what Palo Santo smells like, because if you know me, you know I am infatuated with the smell. But I have to give it over that sweet. Like, oh, it's just like that sweet, soft scent. It's just so delicious. I love it. I actually burned some last night when me and my daughter watched a movie outside. I had my Palo Santo burning and a piece of sage burning next to us to keep the mosquitoes away. I'm like, stay away from us. Wow. I wasn't expecting this. So on the bottom of the box, we have an altar cloth beautiful yellow to go with our Letha theme with a triple moon with a pentacle in the middle. Let me put it this way because it was upside down. We don't want to do that. Oh, sorry. And you can see like the pretty decorative border. Oh, that is pretty. That is so pretty. I was not expecting that I love this box so many goodies for what you pay for it all right sorry guys I'm gonna do a little readjusting and then I'm gonna show you well, let's see what she said about the altar cloth actually we'll read about this first this herb is often used as a tea but it is quite bitter oh okay so it says using water that is 70 to 80 degrees Celsius might help reduce the bitterness. It can also be sweetened with honey, sweetener, or sugar. It is used as a tonic, diuretic, <laughs> and as a stimulant to reduce fatigue, suppress appetite, and aid gastric function. Suppress appetite? Get out. Reduce fatigue. As well as promote cleansing. If you'd rather use it as a spell herb, it is said to promote creativity, insight, clarity, and a heightened consciousness. I think that's cool that she gave us something that we could use for both. Maybe I will try it as a tea and also put some aside in a jar to use the spell work. So that's cool. I like that a lot. Um, then we have this altar cloth. It was the first item. I didn't even see it. Uh, define your working space and or use for your Letha altar. The color of gold and yellow are, of course, associated with the energy of the sun. Because of this, these colors are also associated with energy, 
health and good fortune. Work with gold and yellow to connect with the more active of more active or yang side of yourself and cultivate good health. Love that. And then last but not least, you guys got a little sneak peek in the beginning. We have Raven LePage, Salem Spell, Wellness Witch Stones for Guidance and Knowledge. Includes six witch stones, casting chart, satchel, and more. This is so freaking cute. Oh, look at the back. Six hand-painted casting stones, drawstring satchel, pentacle casting chart, how-to instructions. All right, let's open it up and see what we have. Oh, this is adorable. Reveal hidden knowledge. Receive inspired guidance. We have the wand, gray agate, the chalice, rose quartz, the broomstick, unikite, yay. The candle, yellow venturine, the cauldron, aventurine light. Hmm. The pentagram, Brazil agate. A couple of stones I don't own already. And we have a little opening right there. So let's open this up. I like that you can reuse this box. It's very nice. Here we have our how, ugh, our how to. I'm gonna place this back in here. Oh, this is a satchel. I honestly thought it was like a mini little, um, I don't know why, like a tossing thing or something. I don't know what I thought. But it's a little satchel with the pentacle on it. I'm going to show you each one. So we have the wand, which is gray agate. And then we have the chalice, which is rose quartz. We have my favorite unikite that doesn't want to come out. There we go. It's so tiny. We have a cute little piece of unikite with the broomstick on it. And then the candle is yellow aventurine. This one's almost like a um, triangle shape. So we have the candle, which would be like that. So the candle's flame is like rounded and the wand is like a point. And then we have our cauldron, which would be a venturing light. Our little cauldron. And then the pentagram, which is Brazil agate. And that is all of them. And let's read a little bit about this. How to use your witch stones. The ancient practice of casting gemstones is called lithomancy. This traditional ritual provides the use with inspiration, guidance, knowledge, and general decision making. Well, where will your stones fall? Stones which land in the center, illumination should be considered direct answers to your question. If multiple stand, stones land here, you should first read the stones closest to the exact center. Stones which land within the start magic point reflect how your own actions can strongly affect and influence any given outcome. Stones which land within the circle sacred region represent more distant influences which can affect our outcome. Stones which land outside the circle shadow lands are void. Stones which land between two points should be moved to the larger of the two areas. I was gonna say what are they talking about though and here it is. Here it is. Sorry about the glare. Oh, here we go. So we have Shadowlands all around four corners. We have the magic point, the sacred regions. These are all the magic points, the illumination, and another sacred region. That is really cool. I will do a video after I cleanse these stones. Um, I actually, 
I have to do that video too first before I can even cleanse my stones. So after I do that, I will do that and I will make a video maybe later on this week using these because that's cool. I love divinational tools. Like I love the dice and the stones and the runes. I'm all about that stuff. Um, the last few weeks, I'll be honest, I haven't done literally anything. I was in a slump. We'll just call it a slump. I was in a slump. <laughs> um, but I am feeling back to myself. I am excited to start doing all the things. Summer is coming. And yeah, I will definitely be doing a lot more divinational practices and maybe sharing more of that with you guys. Um, I just don't talk a lot like when I'm working, like when I'm doing my workings, I don't speak out loud a lot. It's always in my head. I've always been like that. So it's hard for me to videotape. So I think I'm just, when I share those things, I might just videotape it the way I do my thing. And then if I have to, I'll just voice over. So you guys ain't like just watching me do things in silence. I will voice over what I'm doing, you know, stuff like that. So yeah. I'm excited. I think this was a great um, box for Letha. For a small box, $37, guys. Like, come on now. We have a candle, a roll-on oil perfume. We got a little thing of salts. We got some Palo Santo. We got this beautiful altar cloth. We have a herb that we can use to either drink or other purposes. We have a ritual and some cool casting stones. So cool loved this box i mean you guys already know you guys already know sugar muses uh, i hate to say it but it truly is i, I want to say she's probably my favorite box out of all the boxes i've ever received and i'm only saying she's my number one because i have a lot that i really love like spiral rain she's right up there too she's probably my number two like it's hard to like pick between the two it's just it's just that I'm never disappointed with Sugar Muses. I don't know what it is. It's, I've been, this will be a year and two months, I think I've been receiving her boxes. And I mean, she, I just always wowed because everything is always aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Like everything always goes like from her packaging to her labels, like everything just flows together. She just always wows me. I think that's the only one-up thing that she has from like Spiral Rain is her packaging, the way she presents her things. Um, she just, I don't know, she's just one of my favorites. She always gives beautiful items, useful items that you're gonna use in your practice. I mean, yeah, if I had to pick my top three boxes, my number one would be Sugar Muses, which includes all the boxes. I mean, as a company. And then my second one, I would have to say Spiral Rain because I get her monthly. Um, also, there's other boxes that I absolutely love, but they only do Sabbath boxes. So, you know, you know, my girls, Gypsy from Sacred Vibes and Isis from June Mermaid's Trove. I love their boxes, too. They do seasonal boxes. So I want to include them in like what I'm talking about right now just because it's unfair to them because they don't do monthly boxes but as far as monthly boxes go sugar muses spiral rain if you don't know <laughs> you need to go watch some videos and find out because they're freaking amazing but this box was so freaking good um it's pretty much the same amount as the witch's roots box I think it might be two dollar difference between the two boxes and honestly, I just, I just love it. I love it. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this one today. I'm excited to see what she did for Letha and the other two. So yeah, I can't wait for those to come in later on this week. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I am going to go finish my chores and yeah, do Sunday things. It rained all day and it's still crappy out so I can't do nothing outside which kind of stinks because I was actually saved this box yesterday because I was hoping that today was going to be nice but yeah it is not nothing's cooperating this weekend with me but I will see you all later on this week I have a couple of non-box videos going up I have um one for you guys and then I have another one for my members that will be fun it will be my first my first edition 
to something that's going to be a, I haven't figured out if it's going to be a weekly or bi-weekly um, series. Series! But we gotta, we gotta get, we gotta get cracking. Summer's here. Summer's here. But yeah, until next time, my friends. I don't know, I just started putting, I'm like ready to go, put this all away. Until next time, my friends. Peace, love, spread some kindness wherever you go, but always remain a little sassy. Bye.